Hey guys, it's Laptop Laura, and this is Copy That Pops. Writing tips and psychology hacks applied to online biz success. Whoa, oh, oh, here we go. I've got a pop quiz for you. It's two questions, true or false. Number one, true or false, reaching your customers in a deep emotional way is a key to successful copywriting. And number two, true or false, your headline is unquestionably the most important piece of copy you use to reach prospects. Answers are true to both. But how can we actually improve on this? Well, there's a free tool out there that I just discovered, and I wanted to share it with you right away. It's called the Emotional Marketing Value Headline Analyzer from the Advanced Marketing Institute. And the URL is a little bit long, so I created a short link to redirect it over. If you type in copythatpops.com forward slash analyzer, it'll redirect you right over to the headline analyzer. And once you're there, all you have to do are these three fast steps. Number one is paste the headline you're thinking about using for your blog article, podcast episode, book title, video title, or the actual headline on top of a landing page a website, anything. And then number two is select the category that your business most closely falls under. There's about 12 or so to pick from. And then number three is just click on submit for analysis. So it takes like five seconds. And once you do these three steps, it will analyze and score your headline based on the total number of EMV words, which stands for emotional marketing value that it has in relation to the total words that it contains in all. And that will give you your EMV score. And then it'll also share with you which emotion inside of your customers that the headline most impacts. And the three that it rates on are intellectual, empathetic, and spiritual. So intellectual words are most effective for offering products and services that require reasoning and careful evaluation. Empathetic words resonate most when you're trying to create an impact by profound and strong positive emotional reactions in people. And then spiritual words have the strongest potential for influence and often appeal to people at a very deep emotional level. So I thought, let me give you an example. And I thought about simply titling this podcast episode as Emotional Marketing Value Headline Analyzer, since that's the name of the tool. And so I just plugged that in to see what it would give me. And it gave me a score of 60%, which is really good. And it said to put that into perspective, the English language contains about 20% EMV words. So most professional copywriters' headlines will tend to be 30 to 40% EMV words. And the most gifted copywriters will tend to be 50 to 75% EMV words in their headlines. A perfect score would be 100%, but they say it's very rare unless your headline is fewer than five words. So with a rating of 60%, that's in the most gifted copywriters range, which I can't take credit for because I just named it the name of the tool. So no kudos to me for great copywriting in that. And then in terms of the predominant emotional classification, it rated me as having a perfect balance between intellectual, empathetic, and spiritual words. Again, I can't take credit since I just put in the title of the tool. (laughs) And then I thought, okay, well, let me test some other things. So I added to the end of that title for entrepreneurs who want to make an impact to see how that would change it. So the entire title was then emotional marketing value headline analyzer for entrepreneurs who want to make an impact. And the score ended up coming out to be 53.85%. So it went down a little bit with a stronger empathetic and spiritual rating rather than a balance of all three, but still a strong score. And then as you might think when you go to this, I thought, let me just start plugging other stuff in there and see what I get. So I put in the title of my first book, Copywriting for Podcasters, How to Grow Your Podcast Brand and Business with Compelling Copy. And the score I got was 21.43%. About average with the English language. And it had a balance of all three intellectual, empathetic, and spiritual measures. 
How about my second book, which is called Permission to Write a Brand Building Book for Podcasters, Nine Myths Holding You Back from More Exposure and Making a Greater Impact. By the way, this tool will cut you off at 20 words, so I'm getting pretty close to that. Now, the second book fared even lower with a 10% rating and hitting only the spiritual side. So too bad I didn't have this tool before I named it, (laughs) but I've got it for the third book. Okay, how about Gary Vaynerchuk's most recent book? It's called Crushing It, How Great Entrepreneurs Build Their Business and Influence and How You Can Too. Want to guess the score? It came out at 26.7% and was full spiritual of the three. Not too shabby, but still kind of low. How about Brene Brown's book, Dare to Lead, Brave Work, Tough Conversations, Whole Hearts. This one I figured would score a lot higher because it was definitely shorter and had some strong impact words. And it did score 44.44% and came out fully empathetic of those three measures. Now, what about something other than a book title? Because it really is about headlines. So I thought, let me go check out some headlines that I'm using on my website, for example. So right now, as I record this, at the top of my website, copythatpops.com, it says, you need a book. That's it. So how does that score? Drum roll, please. 50%. Not too bad. And it has a mix of intellectual and spiritual. That's pretty cool. So I might just leave that. And then I decided, let me do another test. And I went to see the top headline that I have on my free resources page, which is copythatpops.com forward slash free. And at the very top, it reads, become a best-selling author. And then below is where people can put in their email to get my three top resources. So I plugged that into the headline analyzer and I got eek, 0%. Oh my goodness. Okay, so become a best-selling author, 0% and it rated as neutral. I hadn't seen that yet. So I thought, okay, let me let me tweak it a little bit and try to improve it and actually make some changes as I'm recording this episode. So then I decided to type in achieve best-selling author status as a variation and see how that came out. And it resulted in 25%, so definitely better. And a purely intellectual focus of the three, it says. Okay, I thought, well, let me see if I can get higher than 25%. So then I changed it to achieve best-selling author status and reap rewards. And you'll be happy to know this one came out even better. That bumped it up to a 50% score with a still intellectual focus. So for now, I like it. From this exercise on the podcast, I am updating my headline on that page at copythepops.com forward slash free. And I'll include a little screenshot of before and after in the show notes so you can see it. (laughs) And I hope that it gets me more email opt-ins and leads to be determined. But now it's your turn. So head over to copythatpops.com forward slash analyzer, and it'll redirect you over to the Advanced Marketing Institute's Emotional Marketing Value Headline Analyzer and start plugging in your headlines or different titles of things and see if you can make some small tweaks to improve your score and achieve the balance that you'd like to. Just another tool in your toolbox to keep helping you write copy that pops. Thanks so much for listening. Let's keep the conversation going. You can find more at copythatpops.com and I'm at Laptop Laura on all the socials. <laughs>